Find the distance AB across the pond using the similar triangles shown. So these two triangles are supposed to be taken as similar. Similar implies same shape, not necessarily the same size. It also implies that the size of the matching sides of the triangles should be proportional. So for example, 10 meters and X would be matching sides. These two sides should be proportional. So what we're going to do is set up a proportion for the sides. But before that, we're going to flip the triangles around because visually we could find out which side matches which side if they're flipped around. So I turn the two triangles around. And notice these two angles are vertical angles. Vertical angles are always congruent. Those are made when two lines or segments cross. So we could add this marking to the triangles so we could be able to match the sides afterwards. So notice this side is proportional to this side. This side is proportional to this side. This side is proportional to this side. Now that we know which side matches which side, we set up a proportion. So the way that 4 compares to 10 is the same way that 6 should compare to x. Now that you have your proportion, you cross multiply. x times 4 is 4x. 10 times 6 is 60. Solve for your x, and we get an x equal to 15 meters. So the length of the pond here is 15 meters.